Uh, so I'm going to start, you know, from the very beginning. You launched Network, which was a cable TV business. Um, oh, that beginning, is it? Yeah, yeah, that beginning <laughs> at 25. And, you know, after a few uh, tweaks in your strategy, the business kind of tripled in, in a year's time. So what was going on in your mind back then, you know, to take that first plunge and take that risk? Uh, uh, what was going on in my mind would yeah. be naivety, okay. um, uh, the sense of huge opportunity um, and I think if you can stay naive and if you can stay opportunistic but if you can stay strategic at that stage I would say strategy was not on my mind the fact that I wanted to be I wanted to do something on my own was the most critical element and I guess at that stage unlike today where people who want to be entrepreneurs know they want to have an app they want to get into technology they want to do anything else I think my journey started where I knew I could not execute somebody else's vision I had to do something where I could execute my own vision. That's in retrospect, the definition. I don't think at 22 or 23 I had that very clear, incisive point of view. But it was enough for me to say I want to start something on my own. So I think when cable TV happened, the beauty about something when you're pioneering something, firstly the two parts. One is there's a small sliver being, being before your time or it being pioneering. And you only figure that out later on. But it's also about timing, right? Because if you think it's before your time, when to pull the plug or actually when to fail that yes pioneering means you need to stick it out as much as you need to know when you pull the plug and i think that naivety gave me that sense of maturity at that particular point in time to be able to differentiate between these very subtle things in life which maybe i can look backwards and talk about them but at that time it was substantially intuitive yeah